Alright, where we at? Let's get it. Deuteronomy, chapter 4. 18. Verse 18. Remember, we're talking about accountability. Alright, the Lord charged you. Let's get it. The likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth. And unless thou lift up thy eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, and shouldest be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord thy God has divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. That go into your astrology, right. your horoscopes. Huh? Girl, my horoscope say this. I ain't going outside today. Uh, we never supposed to. We we're never supposed to worship God's creation. We worship the Creator. All right. They form religions based off the stars, the sun, the moon. Modern day Christianity is based off sun worship. Sunday. Uh, modern day Islam is based off moon worship. They got they look crescent and star, the moon. Moon worship. All right. Come on. Verse twenty. But the Lord hath taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt, to be unto him a people of inheritance as ye are this day. Come on. Furthermore, the Lord was angry with me for your sakes, and swore that I should not go over, over Jordan, and that I should not go in unto that good land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. But I must die in this land. I must not go over joy. But ye shall go over and possess that good land. Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he had made with you, and make you a graven image of the likeness of anything which the Lord thy God hath forbidden thee. Lord forbid, he forbid this. We only got this as a teaching tool. But these are images that various religions are set up under. Christianity, Islam, this is over in Mecca. How about the Muslims face the Easter? They're facing this uh, statue right here, or this idol called the Kaaba. All right, uh, Egyptology, they believe that this is eternal life right here. Christ is the eternal life, not no Egyptian hawk. So these are graven images, or carved images, but you know them as paintings now. But the origin were graven images, and it's deeper than that. What's set up with this is a whole worship. It ain't just the image they give you, they give you a whole ritual from a worship, ceremonies, all that. All that's against God. The most high God is the Spirit. Alright? Come on, here, Verse 24. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire. You hear that? Your God is a consuming fire. Huh? It don't sound like Dilly Do Neighbor, do it. Yeah. Ned Flanders. Dilly Do Neighbor! Nah. The Lord is a consuming fire. Alright, come on. Even a jealous God. A jealous God. Don't he got the right to be jealous? He don't? Any man in here, if you came home and you seen your wife driving uh, Hank's car down the street, uh, and then at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, she creeping out of Hank's house. Get a little rough, right. woman. <laughs> that woman ain't a virtuous woman like Israel is the bride of God. We're married to the Most High, so he told us, look, don't be around her flirting with no other gods. You're, 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 you're a whore if you're doing that. Spiritually, he calls us whores. Because we have picked up the religious uh, religious doctrine of these other nations. We picked them up and we took on that even though our husband, which is our God, told us don't do that. According to the, that's Isaiah 54, and then 54 down, your husband is your maker. Thy husband is thy maker. Isaiah 54, 14. And also Jeremiah, what's that name? Jeremiah 3, 3 and 14. We are married to the Most High. So that's why he's jealous when you around here flirting with other gods or involve yourselves in praise of other gods. He get mad and that's why the curses that came on our people. We want to get our God. So we're not supposed to be doing that. The Lord is jealous. They tell you his name is very terrible and jealous. Alright? And you don't want to make Papa mad. We all know what happened when he get mad. Alright? Let's finish this off, you bro. Verse 25. When thou shalt beget children, and children's children, uh -huh. and ye shall have remained long in the land, and shall
shall corrupt yourself and make a graven image or the likeness of anything and shall do evil in the sight of the Lord thy God to provoke him to anger. So the, so the Lord, the Lord tell you that's evil. The Lord tell you that's evil. Flat out making a graven image or an express image of him. He made us in his image. We're not supposed to make him in ours. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You don't make that, you don't make you a God and set you up a God. And then you pray what you just made. It makes no sense. Right. Understand? Working, somebody paint. Somebody who paid commission to paint this. Understand that. This wasn't given to us in the 